Justin Fox. I work for Bintani Australia, and we're here at Starwood at the uh, first Australian Fermenters Academy. Today is all about the Fermenters Academy. It's to explain how we manufacture the products, how they can be used by the breweries, and how they can get the best results. So, so it's crossroads between training and the making process and the creativity of the breweries and trying to give them these, the science information to support them in that process. It's a great opportunity for brewers to step outside their brewery, have a day to listen and learn and collaborate with their colleagues and peers, hearing the latest insights and research. And the research we're sharing is quite on trend with what we're seeing in the market. In Fermentis, we like supporting each other across the region. And I also want to share the, my experience from China to Australia, also learn something back to China. And this is a cross uh, region communication is very important in Fermentis. I think yeast is resurging as a, as a frontier of technical quality. So what we're seeing in the judging competitions is that the, the basic construct of beers is getting cleaner and, and better. We've all got a real good grasp on malt. We're putting a lot of effort into hops and dry hopping techniques and how to get the most of your oil. But even that discussion has now turned to how does the yeast really unlock all of those flavors? So we're seeing that next tier to improve your beers from good beers to great beers is really mastering that fermentation. One of the key takeouts for me with it is that the research that Fermenters are conducting is actually really relevant to the brewer of today. Now we're finding new yeast strains, bacteria, co-inoculation research, because everyone's just looking for new flavors. We can look at anything we want from a historical technical view, but unless we look at how it's impacting flavour in the beers we're drinking today, the research doesn't relate. Sensory research actually underpins everything we do. It's our priority in any of our studies and beer trials we do is the sensory research because you can get a lot of data out of a lab, but it doesn't always predict what is the final beer and what is the consumer going to think of that final beer. So sensory comes foremost for us and we have a highly trained panel of 40 panellists been working with us for a number of years already and we're getting a lot more and more um, great insights from them um, and good learnings that we can share. And it's really about bringing people together to talk about fermentation and you know improve the products that we all love. Mm -hmm.